Good afternoon. I'm Larry Jennings. I'm uh, chairman of the Baltimore Municipal Golf Corporation, which is the uh, Baltimore Classic Five. I would like to thank everyone for playing today and for being part of the first Mayor's Cup. Yay! I also would like to thank our many sponsors. Balsome Partners, me, Lorenz, MeQ, CMC, BGE, Grant Capital, Commercial Interiors, <coughs> Metro Industries, Percival, Lorenz, did I say Lorenz? Thank you. Um, I would also like to thank everyone for just showing up today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Mayor's Cup is a culmination of the first annual Baltimore Golf Week which, which, that raised funds for Youth Works. And many of you know that uh, funding youth employment is one of our city's biggest challenge. Before we announce the winner of the Mayor's, Mayor's Cup, I'd like to turn the mic over to John Ladd and Ed Miller so they can announce the winners of the Closest to the Pen and the Long Drive Contest. Okay, before you do that. Uh, before he does that, let me just say uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, this is awesome. I think it was like 90 golfers showed up today, which is really a really awesome start, especially in the rain. And so I have this really great vision for the Mayor's Cup. I was just sharing it over there uh, with JP, that what we want this to do is to grow to every golf course that the city has. And then we will, uh, the winners at the various courses will play against each other and so that we really have a Mayor's Cup championship. Um, but you all are the initiators of this effort. And so we're very, very excited. So we know that you know, if 90 people showed up today in the rain, can you imagine what that's gonna look like across all of our golf courses uh, throughout the city of Baltimore, including Pine Ridge, which is our golf course as well. So we're excited. And so we want you all to go back and tell everybody how great this was that you all showed up and what this means to the citizens of Baltimore and certainly to me and certainly to Jason Perkins Cohen who runs our Office of Employment Development and our Youth Works. And just for, just for you all to know, uh, usually, and I know you've heard these numbers over the years, about 5,000 young people usually complete the effort that says we want to work this summer. This year, 16,500 young people showed up and asked to work. 12,000 of those young people actually followed through. 9,000 of those young people actually have jobs, which means we're still looking for 3,000 uh, jobs for our young people. And I have to share this uh, little story real quickly because someone heard me say, you know, I'm about 3,000 short. This is one of my female friends, and I got a text that said, I've got that $3,000 for you. Well, thank you, but the $3,000 uh, is far away from the 3,000 young people because it's about $1,600 for each person, but that will help two young people get to work this summer. Uh, but that's, that's what we're still looking for. So let me just thank you all for contributing and being a part of this effort. We really appreciate it. So catch hold of the vision, and let's see where we go next year. Thank you. I'll echo that sentiment. We appreciate everyone showing up today. And I thank the mayor because there, she was going to, I was thinking about pulling everybody in when I was looking at radar, and she said, no, no. they're golfers. <laughs> and that's exactly what I heard from Larry Carter over here when I told him that story. He said, no, you guys are all golfers. What, what's the matter with a little rain? So we appreciate you sticking out with it. I'm going to take, uh, turn us over to Ed uh, Miller, our PGA professional here at Forest Park. and. Um, He'll announce the winners, and if for the closest to the pin prizes we'll, and long drive, we'll do those first. I know at least one or two of them have left, but um, we've got some forms to fill out over here, um, Footjoy Outerwear and Footjoy Shoes and things like that, so some pretty nice prizes for that. I guess that was on, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. All right. Thank you, thank you. All right. Again, I would like to echo what Mr. Jennings said. I appreciate everybody who came out today, as well as the mayor in this, uh, in this weather. You guys, uh, you definitely earned it. So we really appreciate that, and I uh, hope you had a good time. Okay, for our first prize, 
contest prize, longest drive on hole number nine for the men. We had Mr. Al Wilson. on hole number nine for the ladies, Miss Jill Janowitz. She, she left, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, let's move to the closest to the pin contest. Closest to the pin on hole number three. It's not deja vu, but Mr. Al Wilson. Clarify some rules. Clarify the rules. That's right. Next year. year. Closest to the pin, hole number three. This is definitely de deja vu. Miss Jill Janowitz. All right. Closest to the pin on hole number four. Also, real quick, I'd like to thank uh, Norm Dowdy again, hole number four, hole in one contest for that Ford Mustang out there. All right, close to the pin on hole number four for the men, Mr. Tom Janetta. Where's Tom at? Come on up, Tom. <laughs> at the buffet line. All right. <laughs> that's right, that's right. All right. Closest to the pin, hole number four. Where's she at? Lynn Brooks. Oh. Lynn had to leave as well. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Hole number 15. Closest to the pin. Mr. Norm Dowdy. Norm and Norm. I did skip 11. I'm going to go back to 11. Correct something. What's that? No, I didn't go. I know. I got you. Got you. All right. Thank you for that. Yes, Mr. Norm. Was it Norm that actually put up the Ford? We have to thank Coons Ford for putting up the Ford Mustang for the whole one. Sorry about that, Norm. All right. And I did skip an order, but we're going to finish this closest to the pin on hole number 15 for the ladies. Give it to Miss Iris Smith. You see why I kind of skipped it on that <laughs> And Mr. Uh, the Wall is not here either. All right. Good job, Mrs. Smith. Good job. All right. I did accidentally go out of order, but now we'll go to closest to the pin on hole number 11 for the men, Mr. Abdul Lawal. He's gone, right? Gone. Thank you, Kevin. Can we trust you on that one, Kenny? Yeah, we're going to tell him. I'm on it. <laughs> All right. And last, closest to the pin on hole number one, I'm 11 for the ladies, not Miss Catherine Pugh. All right. Okay, now we get to the scores. It was actually definitely a, it was a good leaderboard up there. <coughs> had some good low numbers despite the rain. Hope everybody had a good time. This year's, our inaugural Mayor's Cup champion with a score of 58. We got a Mr. Kenny Cooper, Mr. Clarence Jackson, Anthony Ferguson, and Abdul Lawal. Please come on up. Now, unfortunately, the rest of Kenny's team had to go as well. So let's get Kenny over here with the trophy anyway, and uh, let's do this. All right. Go over here next to the mayor. All right. I'm oh, sorry. Here we go. Ready in three, two, one. Good one, four.
Thank you very much. You want to give them? I'll give them this before after the letter. Okay. Okay. Settle down. We had a lot of 60 scores up there as well, uh, so hopefully you, you all get a chance to look at the leaderboard, because uh, next week, next year I think we'll go at least three deep or something like that. The, the committee will come back together and converse, and so we'll deliberate and be able to present more awards next year. So anyway, give yourselves a big round of applause. Great job, great job, great job. Because um, it's not about winning the mom just stop. <laughs> you know what? It really is about winning. We're mad as hell. My team is over there. We are suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Mayor, yes. and, uh, Jason, um, is he here? Yeah, J Jason, come on up. Come on up. Um, the, uh, also, I'd like to invite all the sponsors uh, say to come up as well. Our sponsors. Sponsors. JP. Lawrence. Where was the sponsor? I saw Kenny, Percival, Metra, Repro. Meet you. Because this is where the, the awards really go, and we wanted to thank all of our sponsors for helping us uh, to put this on, but more importantly, to raise money for Youth Works. Okay, I'd like to present the check. Wow. Is this the amount that we raised, um, say, this year? Is it for Youth Works? $100,000. $100,000 goes a long ways. <laughs> yes, it does. Give him a big round of applause. Again, let me say thank you. What a big effort for a first time event. Um, I just can't thank you all enough, and, and neither can Youth Works and the number of young people who will go to work this summer as a result of this effort. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that concludes our uh... let me also take a moment you all uh, this was a, a big effort on the part of Larry Jennings so please give him a big round of applause we also know that it doesn't get done by one person that it really was a team effort and so I thank you for pulling together the team and more importantly, for sticking to your commitment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you.